Dear folks, welcome to yet another episode in the fantastic world of the military. In this video we will talk about another successful attack by Ukrainian drones against Russian ships and the revolution they are causing in naval combat. On Thursday, February 1st, Ukraine released a video showing an impressive attack by multiple naval drones hitting the Russian missile corvette Ivanovs of the Taranto class. In the video, we can see the corvette being hit by several drones that are opening holes in its hull. We can also see large explosions, and at the end, we see the bow of the corvette sinking and disappearing into the Black Sea. It is the 13th Russian vessel sunk by Ukraine since the beginning of the invasion, which corresponds, in terms of tonnage, to 20% of the entire Russian fleet in the Black Sea, based in the city of Sevastopol, in occupied Crimea. The Taranto class is a Soviet project of corvettes from the 1970s, developed to overcome the limitations of older corvettes, equipping them with much larger and more precise radars, a larger crew, increased stability to face rougher seas, a much more powerful naval gun, and secondary weapons in greater numbers and with larger calibers. And above all, with a greater capacity for missile transportation, with each corvette armed with up to four P-270 Masket missiles, gigantic anti-ship missiles with four TME and a range of 155 miles. It is a lightweight and compact corvette with only 183 feet in length, a displacement of just over 1,102 1,311 pounds, and a crew of 50 members, resulting in a very agile and fast vessel capable of reaching 42 knots, equivalent to almost 49 met p. All this agility and speed, combined with its heavy armament and advanced radars, made it the standard missile corvette of the Soviet Navy, with about 80 vessels of that class having been built since the 1970s. These corvettes equip all fleets of the Russian Navy, with three having been designated for the Russian Black Sea Fleet, where they received the important mission of, with their powerful anti-ship missiles, preventing Ukraine from operating boats and ships in that sea. However, despite the mentioned speed and great agility of the vessel, one of these corvettes, the Ivanovs, was sunk by Ukrainian naval drones. The sinking of such an agile and heavily armed vessel by small drones, once again demonstrates that naval battles have undergone a true revolution with the use of these means. One of the great advantages of using drones is that they are very small and therefore very difficult to detect by surface radars. And even when detected and with the crew of the target ship alerted, they are still difficult to shoot down as they are extremely light and agile capable of abruptly changing route, avoiding shots, and seeking to hit the vessel in its most vulnerable points. Ukraine has not yet provided details on which drone was used in the attack. However, according to Covert Shores, Ukrainians operate two main types of surface drones. A figure 5 with 18 feet, which carries up to 705.48 pounds of explosives, with a range of 450 nautical miles, or about 515 miles, and the Sea Baby, much larger, armed with unguided rockets and an explosive charge of up to 2,204 pounds. Both drones have already been used in successful attacks, both against ships and against Russian installations, such as ports, naval bases and even the Crimea Bridge, attacked and heavily damaged by the Sea Baby on July 17, 2023. The major advantage of naval drones, compared to anti-ship missiles, is that drones are more discreet. Depending on the distance and their flight phase, an anti-ship missile can fly at hundreds of meters altitude, which means its presence can be detected by long-range radars, thus alerting ship crews in the area. However, naval drones always advance with great discretion, with a maximum of 4.92 feet of structure above the wave level, which means that, in average sea conditions, with waves between 1 and 6.56 feet, a drone like the Figure 5 or the Sea Baby will only be effectively detected a few hundred meters from the target ship, and that's if the crew is really attentive. Another important detail that we can observe in the video released by Ukraine is that the attack was of the swarm type, with several drones attacking from different positions, further complicating defensive actions, with multiple threats appearing and disappearing from surface radar all around the Vestal. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has radically changed the way wars are fought, first through the use of aerial drones, from large and powerful platforms armed with missiles, to small commercial drones adapted to shoot down 50-ton steel monsters, and then through the use of naval drones, which, as demonstrated here, have created a whole new range of challenges for navies around the world. With these drones actively contributing to what seemed unthinkable before, 
the weakening of the powerful Russian Navy in the Black Sea, previously seen as an authentic Russian lake, and all this by a nation that doesn't even have a full-fledged war navy. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss any news, criticisms, ideas or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments.